With Memorial Day weekend upon us, it's easy to focus on the good weather and family barbecues, but what's most important is the meaning behind Memorial Day, a day to remember our fallen soldiers. A collaboration in Belfast instills that message to the youth. Sierra Whaley has more. I'm going to ask you to stop and think, why are we really here? It's a time to reflect. We're not here to decorate the graves. We're here to remember those who served. We're not remembering their deaths, but their lives. A tradition continued between Ames Elementary, local law enforcement, and the Belfast VFW to place flags on the final resting place of local service members ahead of Memorial Day. Here in this cemetery, we're doing the Remember, Honor, Teach program. We remember those who served, we honor their service, and we're teaching the next generation what it means for freedom, that freedom isn't free. We know some of the kids that are, that are coming here personally. You know, we know that they are very excited about this opportunity. We know that at the school they've been taking the time to learn the history of, of this day. Veterans Day is when people served in the Army but are still alive and Memorial Day is where people served in the Army but have died sadly. Lovely. That's a lovely picture. I can't wait to show it. We really want kids to understand it's an opportunity for respect and remembrance for the members of our military that gave so much. And for one student in particular, this event means so much more. It means a lot to me because knowing that my dad's out there and he's helping it, I know that I'm helping too. And the choice of flowers sends a message to the community. The poppies mean a lot because they, um, they show remembrance and hope. Roger, Salmon, thank you for your service. Good job. Paul A. Jackson, thank you for your service. It's just neat to see them out there doing the American flags with the veterans side by side. Thank you for serving our country so we can have a great life. Sierra Whaley, WABI TV5 News, Belfast.